Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button, baby, okay? So, y'all, we just getting ready to go on a solo day. I look good, okay? I look cute. Don't play with me. I'm about to get ready to head out the door, but we just sat down and got ready, and we just had a little chit-chat about a couple things, because um, I feel like I haven't talked to y'all in, a, like, forever, so I like to just sit down and update y'all and just talk about things with y'all because at the end of the day this is my community to communicate with y'all let y'all know what's going on and who is calling me who is me my bad y'all but yeah so we just sat down had a little chit chat and i wanted to update y'all on some things because baby it's me season okay it's me season that's what it's smelling like and that's what it's giving all of 2022 because i'm just ready to get to know myself more this year just get to that next level of who i need to be as a person career-wise mentally emotionally all that so i'm about to go on a solo date i don't do this often i just want to take the time out to do stuff that's going to get me out of my comfort zone but speaking of time though shout out to jbw for sponsoring today's video y'all already know i wear this watch with every single outfit i cannot leave the house without it it's such a timeless piece and it's blinged out all around the wrist so it looks like a bracelet that's why it's my favorite and i love the square face that's why i'm always wearing this watch it's one of my favorites and y'all know valentine's day is coming up and this is the perfect time to give somebody that you love to spend time with because it just symbolizes that you love to spend time with someone y'all know time is precious and time is just something you can't get back so for this valentine's day shop jbwwatches.com you will be able to use my discount code Red B day to save some coin, and also if you've been wanting this watch, I highly, highly advise you to go shop right now. Go treat yourself for this Valentine's Day boo. You deserve it. Self love is the best love. Thank you so much, JBW, for sponsoring today's video, and we're just gonna hop right into it. So let's do it. So roll the clip. <laughs> Hey girl, what is poppin'? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Kyra. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know I said this in the beginning. This is a habit, you know? But I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to y'all in forever. And I just feel like I want to get cute. I want to get ready to go out. It's a beautiful day outside in the A. So I wanted to take myself out to lunch today. So I wanted to get cute and get ready with y'all. I feel like I haven't really updated y'all on what I've been using for my makeup. My makeup is pretty much the same. But I just tweaked it a little bit. So um, we're just going to get into it. Maybe this might turn into a chit chat. Who knows? But, um, yeah, so I've been really into the Kevin Aquan, um, Central Skin Primer, as you can see. It's messy. I hate when I do my makeup. I get makeup everywhere on every product. I don't like that. And also, um, where'd I go? Oh, yeah, I just went to Miami real quick. And, uh, I hate when my makeup and foundation get spilled all over my makeup bag. I don't like it, but... Yeah, the skin's looking good. We staying away from coffee. I've been drinking matcha, y'all. And that's all I've been drinking. I haven't been drinking no coffee. Like, I'll have a little bit of coffee, like, on the plane. Um, Yesterday, I had to go back home because I had a doctor's appointment. Make sure you stay up on your appointments. That puts me in check. All that. And so, I had to go back home with the doctor. And I really think it's been helping with my skin. Like, I get so many compliments on my skin. I'm breaking out right here, though on this side but y'all can't see because it's my good side but yeah i just really been staying away from coffee that's really the key and i like matcha i personally like it and i'm gonna put y'all on like my home recipe because i've really been into like making my own stuff at home like food um drinks all that so for my foundation i don't know if i talked about this but y'all i really love the born this way products especially the concealer we'll get into it but I've been using the Born This Way Matte 24 Hour um, Foundation and Warm Pan. But I do mix my foundations with, uh, I don't know how to say it, but it starts with an H. And just mix them together. 
<laughs> I don't know why when I do get ready with me, I have a tendency to look in the camera and not my um, mirror. But y'all, I'm redoing this whole room. Um, I just ordered a new makeup mirror, so yeah, I can't wait to put it up. But I've been using my Vanity Planet portable mirror like my travel meal i really do like this mirror but i just need something a little bit more elevated it's good for travel don't get me wrong it's definitely good for travel i've been using it um and i like that i can just fold it up and put it in my drawers but i just want something more you know elevated and stuff y'all it's february it's my birthday month i really don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing yet and also, obviously, Valentine's Day is coming up. What are y'all's plans? Are y'all spending it alone? Like, what's the tea? What's it giving? But if you are spending it alone, it's okay. Because I'm spending mine alone, too. Um, Obviously. Because we're spending time with ourselves this year. We're getting to know ourselves better this year. Because guess what? I'm choosing me this year. Um, I feel like I never really told y'all my relationship status um y'all ask me all the time and blogs will like find out who i'm talking to what i wouldn't say talking to i guess in a relationship with talking to whatever you want to call it dating and they were like a post <laughs> post the person and uh, clearly i'm not posting this person for a reason like people will always say oh my god why are you hiding him he's so fine like but little do y'all know just because somebody looks attractive on the outside does not mean they're attractive on the inside like we'll just put it like that we're not here to bash anybody you know um hold on one second i'm gonna use the born this way in the vanilla i cannot talk and do my makeup at the same time we either gonna do wake up or we're gonna talk okay just just because somebody is attractive um on the outside does not mean they're a good person on the inside that's really maturing for you because when you get older you really don't look at looks you really look go for like vibe personality can this person really provide can this person really bring to the table can this person really teach me something is this person really paying attention to me on what I'm like what I like are you really into me like that because you can't keep telling a grown man how to love you and when they don't know how to love you that's when the communication sets in that's why you communicate and get to know people on how to love them depending on what they've been through in the past and if this person is not paying attention to what I'm communicating to them on how to love me on how what I want to be and just still suck in their old ways like it's time to let it go because I can't keep repeating myself and I can't keep telling a grown man how to keep me in their life you know i think it's just time to take an exit but some niggas just aren't don't put it into play so that's when you gotta take an exit okay i'll just blend it on my concealer this concealer really gets you that bright under eye it's in vanilla highly recommend if you want that bright under eye but sometimes i really i don't know um i've been using this new powder by um Patrick, I mean not Patrick, uh, Nikita Dragon, Dragon Beauty. Um, it's good, but girl, you can OD on it and it can have major flashback. Ugh. I just took pictures this weekend and girl, my flashback, what the girl okay <laughs> i had major flashback and it was just not cute but i have to go back to my basics and just do the hood of beauty mixed with the laura mercier but yeah like i was saying in order for me to post something i need to be secure in my relationship i need to know you're not talking to anybody else that i'm secure that i it's okay i'm in the clear to post you and make sure that you know i don't look stupid and nobody wants to look dumb at the end of the day and it wasn't given that y'all it wasn't given that and of course i had hopes that it would work out because this person was my safe place when it came to like feeling comfortable and secure especially living here in atlanta i felt so depressed and down like i felt alone in this person i knew for a long time so that was like my safe place my security my it just felt like a piece of home to me if that makes sense love is really blind y'all love is so blind it's sick that's why it's giving me season because i have to let things like that go but when i'm in a relationship or involved with somebody i hate that i get so sucked into a relationship i don't know what life is anymore i don't know what the world is i don't even know my own life it was given like my friends would call me 
I would not answer the phone. Like, if I'm with my nigga, don't call me. Like, don't call me because I don't know you. Um, and sometimes y'all will see me not posting on Instagram. So, I would be like, not posting on Instagram because I'm enjoying my time with this person. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, I cannot live like this anymore. Because I'm not getting treated how I want to. And I'm not f getting fulfilled within myself i just i'm not being fulfilled with my life because i feel like i don't know what life is anymore and i'm declining things that i should be saying yes to and stop trying to you know write my own journey just to try and be like oh i'm not gonna be like this like, i was trying to be a certain way to keep somebody around that didn't want to be kept it was just not healthy it wasn't good for me so that's why this year in 2022 i'm like okay we need to start fresh we need to get on a whole new vibe we need to start saying yes to things i need to allow god to write my journey for me y'all didn't really see what i was going through my content was half-assed i could have did way better content in 2021 i felt like i was pushing a video like once a week and i just I just, ugh, like, it was just bad. But anyways, I'm blending. I'm contouring with NARS concealers um, and chocolate and um, a Mandy. I use a Mandy on my nose and chocolate on my cheeks. But yeah, y'all, it's definitely me season. I want to travel more. I want to go on spontaneous trips more. I want to do whatever I want to do. Um, I just want to, you know, be free and just live my life to the fullest and not take anything serious anymore i just don't want to um lose myself again because i really lost myself i gained so much weight y'all it's sick and i'm not a fake person i can't fake happy being in a relationship i am not posting anybody just because yeah okay where we have something going on doesn't mean i have to post it okay let me blend this stuff out because i'm talking to Okay, so I'm just letting my face just set a little bit. And I just used the concoction, the Huda and the Laura Mercier. So now we're going to do eyeshadow. I'm going to use the By Mario um, makeup palette. I feel like I always use this palette. I need to get a new um, palette with these types of colors just to try out something new. I just really like a dark eyeshadow it just brings out my eye color but i don't want to do so much because nothing major is happening but i just like that this just contours my eye kind of if that makes sense and because my eyes are small so i need them to, to look a little bit more defined and look like it's a little bigger than what it is a little bitter a little bigger but yeah, y'all, it's more to life than just a relationship. So don't think it's the end of the world when you go through a breakup. Of course, we all have that roller coaster feeling of, you know, being depressed, going through those emotions. Ugh, and I hate that feeling. But that's how I know when I'm done with somebody, when I don't have those feelings no more. But trust me, girl, you'll get past it. That feeling is only a temporary feeling. But yeah, let me know y'all's plans for valentine's day i'm supposed to i wanted to go on a solo trip to new york or something like that but i think i'm gonna just go get my credenza <laughs> because i want to finish my living room because it's becoming a vibe in here i just got my lamps they looking real cute and it's turning up on tiktok i don't know like people love the lifestyle and looking at my living room they're like living room tour bedroom tour one thing about me i like taking pictures of things i like taking pictures of items i don't know I, don't, I just like it. I just like um, photo dumps, all that jazz, the dark filter. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to start doing reels. I remember when I was telling myself that I wanted to start doing reels this year and like really taking like TikTok and reels serious. So I was like trying to plan it out. And I was like, okay, the first reel I'm going to make is going to be a self care one. We're going to um, do self care, skin care. And it was just not working out. I was just like, oh my God. And I remember when one day I was in Zara and I met a supporter. She was like, oh my God, I want to start. And I'm like, girl, just start. Because I was telling her, I was explaining to her that 
um i was like i want to do reels more i was trying to plan it out and i'm just like no god is like no just do it so with that being said if you want to start a real tiktok um youtube just start literally don't plan out nothing just be like okay i'm gonna pick up the camera today i'm not doing nothing if you're doing something exciting today and just be like okay i want to i want to vlog today i want to make a reel today because my real my tiktok that i just posted the other day it's gonna get a million views on tiktok and i literally woke up and i was like i'm gonna make a bacon egg and cheese and I was like, I'm not doing nothing. So let me just make a real TikTok real quick. And y'all, it's just, it's doing numbers. And I just want to go with the vibes like that now. That's what I'm saying. In 2022, I just want to go with the vibes, go with the flow. Not have anything planned. I'm just allowing God to write my journey. And if I feel like he's giving me a sign to just do it. Like if I feel something inside me saying, just do it. Don't pass up the opportunity. I'm going to do it. That's why I'm saying new vibes for all of 2022. Per. And that's how it should be. And I just don't want to miss out on life anymore. Trying to be wrapped up into things that I shouldn't be. You know? So, I think we're going to add a little bit more of the round really quick. And then we're going to come back and wrap it up. I don't know why this contour is looking so muggy. Okay, hey, I'm gonna um after I get done with my eyes, we're gonna come back into our face. Now we going with the airbrush flawless finish powder. This is literally a must when it comes to doing my makeup. Every time I'm blending something out now, I smile because I don't want no harsh lines. Okay. Do we have a problem? I like that song. Some people don't like it. I like it. Nicki Minaj's new song with Lil Baby. I'm just gonna use the airbrush flawless finish in medium. And this is the one I carry with me in my purse to touch up during the times when I need to touch up my makeup. Now we're gonna do blush. My favorite blush is the Dior, but I don't have it right now. And y'all, this is a good dupe. If you're looking for an affordable like dupe for from the Dior blush, um, I would highly recommend getting this light elf palette. So it has these four colors in here. Sometimes I mix all four, but this is the pink that I'm talking about. That's a dupe for the Dior. It's so pretty. We're gonna do that so I can show y'all first. Um, just in case you wanna go pick it up. And it does have a little shimmer in there. That's why I don't wear highlight anymore. I just like to get blushes that have a little bit of highlight in them. So I'm gonna go in with this. I'm trying gonna try not to OD on it because sometimes I be ODing. It's like a baby doll pink. I love this type of blush. But if I was going somewhere like out, out, I would mix all of them, but I'm not. In with my mascara, Flash Paradise by L'Oreal. I like this mascara, but sometimes it does bleed and I don't like it. So can y'all please let me know what's a good mascara to like that doesn't bleed. Because the Laura Lash Line mascara is my favorite. I don't know, that just tops off my whole look. It just, it's just everything. I was thinking about getting bottom lashes to just avoid that problem. Should I get bottom lashes, y'all? See how it just looks like a baby doll? It's so cute. So now I'm just gonna spray the airbrush flawless setting spray. The only highlight that I do is the Ofa Rodeo Drive highlighter and I just put this on my nose. I've been using this for so long. This is my favorite highlighter. It's the Kiss Professionals Luxury Intense Lip Liner in Dark Brown. And then for lipstick, I'm going to be taking Max Honey Love in the Carnation. MAC lipsticks are undefeated. I cannot stop using them. Especially Honey Love. Now I'm going to top it off with the Dior Lip Maximizer. And this is in the color 001.
Okay, so I'm gonna spray my face one more time. So pretty. All right, so now I'm about to go in the bathroom and do my hair, and we gonna come back and get dressed. You already know, outfit, perfume, all that. And also, do y'all like the brown hair on me? I definitely miss my black hair, don't get me wrong. But this hair is just, I'm not in a rush to change it. You know what I'm saying? Ugh, people outside just be so rude. Like, dang. I think I want to go a little lighter because this is kind of like on the brassier side of brown. But it's not too brassy that it's not like orange. You know what I'm saying? I do want to get it lighter and see what I get what that gives but anyways i'm gonna be right back and we gonna finish up this video okay girl we all are all together i got on this cute little sweater crew neck well it's been given very much extra but it's still chill at the same time and i got this from um this black owned store in lennox no Fips. They're actually in Fips, and the owner was actually there working. These are custom made. I love it so much. I had to bring it out for today. And then I just got on this necklace, and then of course my JBW watch, which you can use my discount code Kyra V Day, which I explained in the beginning of the video. For perfume today, we're gonna go for Lost Cherry. This is one of my faves, y'all. Smells so good. I would definitely highly recommend getting this for Valentine's Day as well um, for a good um, perfume combo mixed with the Ebony Wood. Ooh, chef's kiss. It smells so good. I just went on like this little movie date the other day and he was like, what you got on? And I was like, oh, you like that? You liked it? <laughs> Don't be trying to get it for no other bitch, okay? I was like, it's Lost Cherry by Tom Ford mixed with Ebony Woods. He was like, you smell so good. When men compliment me on my perfumes, that's how I know, like, okay, this is tea. And I've been getting a lot of uh, compliments on my perfume combinations. Like, when I was at the jewelry store, he was like, oh my God, you smell so good. And I had on the Angel Share mixed with the Ebony Wood. Like, y'all need to go grab the Ebony Woods. I don't know what it is. It really takes the perfume you're combining with to the next level. If I did not hype this up enough, I'm hyping it up now. Um, I know y'all are like, when is Zara going to cut a check? When is Zara going to cut a check? Um, it doesn't matter. I didn't want a check from Zara. Like, this is just what I do. I like to give y'all the best of the best at an affordable price if I can. Because not a lot of people can afford to smell good sometimes some of these luxury perfumes be out of pocket price like they twenty dollars for a little baby bottle this is only like thirty dollars and it smells so good you can try it out with the little version the little purse version i'm just so happy that this reached a lot of my girls and i just i'm just so happy that y'all trust my nose and that i will give y'all recommendations that are on point even though the price is cheap um, it doesn't smell cheap, so I'm glad y'all trust me when it comes to my nose, so Yeah, so make sure y'all go get Ebony Woods. Um, yeah, Zara didn't cut me a check or nothing, but it's okay But I'm just glad I just touched so many girls when it comes to fragrance like I'm the go-to so don't play with me, okay? My makeup is sitting so so we're gonna be on our way to the restaurant because I'm starving. Yeah, but it was so nice talking to y'all and catching up with y'all and letting y'all know the tea. Just remember, girl, like it's so much more to a relationship. You do not need no man in your 20s, okay? Live your best life and have a ball, okay? And that's just period. Don't just go with the flow, go with the vibes, like whatever you're feeling, just go with it. Don't have nothing planned, just go with the flow and trust that God is gonna have your back always. Like you don't need nobody, but god and that's just period so but anyways i'm gonna be on my way out the door and yeah so let's go to the restaurant because i'm hungry
Oh, 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 oh.